Take the gunplay of Destiny, slap a good solo roguelite on top, and you've got yourself Witchfire. Kind of. Witchfire came out in early access last September, made by a team of 12 people at a company called The Astronauts. Recently, they launched a new update, Ghost Galleon, adding a ton of new stuff. I was lucky enough to receive a key to cover the game, but it is currently $40 on Epic Game Store. It is early, early access, and it's hard to justify the money for the content that's available. But the gunplay alone provides a fun foundation if you're looking to scratch that itch. You start with the choice of six different classes, each with different starting equipment. Go out into the world, explore and defeat enemies, gain experience and items, and get out alive with the goods to turn them into levels or upgrades. As you get stronger and unlock new weapons and spells, so do the enemies with new variants and new traps to catch you off guard. I'm not gonna lie, I got my ass handed to me several times in the first hour before I got a grip on things, but the difficulty levels out once you learn how things work. None of this is revolutionary, but each piece of the puzzle fits together really well, and it feels good to play. The game version is still 0.2, so they must be planning a lot more features before full 1.0 release. Right now, there are only two playable areas, which is part of the reason that I'm finding it really difficult to recommend this game. But each area is fleshed out with many quests and bosses with plenty of replayability. The gunplay provides a similar addicting satisfaction to that of shooting the fallen in Destiny. You can tell the team puts a ton of passion into their product. If you're interested, this game deserves at least a spot on your wishlist.